Oh, it is good to be here at Punta Gorda. Good to see you guys. Um, oh, come on. Who's with me? There's too many cars on the road. Am I right? Too many cars in Florida. Too many cars on the road. I just drove three hours through bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic to get here. Everywhere I looked, I saw a middle finger. I mean, it was mine, but still, it's too many cars on the road. I am obsessed about my hair, obviously, but here's the deal. Recently, it's starting to fall out, like, rapidly. So the other day, I got on the internet to see if there was anything I could do about it. Somehow, I stumbled onto a website, Top 10 Celebrities with Fake Hair. And uh, number nine was Chuck Norris. Yeah, I got to tell you, I was shocked. I had no idea that he was still considered a celebrity. <laughs> You know, it just goes to show you how easy it is to get lost when you're surfing around on the internet. I started out Googling hair loss prevention, ended up watching three hours of Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> it was a good show, though. Boy, I tell you, yeah, the world has gone nuts. Customer service, that's gone downhill. Boy, there's no good customer service. The other day, I'm at Walmart, and the guy ringing up my stuff, he was slow, he was lazy, he was dressed like a slob, and it was self-checkout. So <laughs> It's gotten that bad. I'm going to have to up my game if I'm going to keep working there. Oh, yeah. And uh, speaking of keeping it topical, I saw this on the news also recently. Another female teacher got in trouble for having sex with her students. Oh, yeah, I tell you, that is just terrible. That's just wrong on every level. It's gotten so bad, I might have to go back to school. <laughs> I have to do something. Maybe go back for an oral exam. I don't know. Something has got to change. Drove by the hospital on my way here. That brought back some bad memories. Last time I was there, the receptionist said, what brings you to the emergency room? I said, I have a fetish for nurses, and I'd like to ruin my credit. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm in the right place. Yeah, my therapist, his office is in a house, which normally wouldn't be a deal breaker, but it's his mom's house. <laughs> it's a little pudding. And get a load of this. He makes me wear a mask for our sessions. He says it's for health purposes, but I don't know. Uh, and, and here's the deal. I hate wearing this thing. You know, it's hard to breathe in. I guess partly because it's made out of leather and it covers my entire head. It's like a zipper across the mouth. Very strange therapy. My therapist told me, he said, uh, there's only two emotions. He said, there's love and fear. I said, well, that makes sense. He goes, how so? And I said, because I'd love to pay you, but I'm afraid I can't. <laughs> you know, I recently brought my mom down to Florida. Because, uh, well, let's be honest. Uh, we just don't have enough old people here. <laughs> oh, and good news, she brought her car. Isn't that nice? In her car. But uh, don't worry. Uh, the first thing we did when we got her down here, we took the car into the garage and had that turn signal welded into the left blinker position. So... She's good to go. My really quick son of a blast. How many people here shot the Publix? Yeah. And, I'm sorry? Oh, okay. Is that all you have down here? Publix? That's it? Okay, you've been removed. You are no longer the spokesperson for the group. Okay, my son of a blast. How many people shop at Win Dixie? Okay. Well, you're in a safe place. Hey, look, listen. I don't. I don't personally. I don't think there's anything wrong with Winn Dixie. I, I go there because uh, every now and then when I'm grocery shopping, I like to take my shirt off. And really, that's the place to do it. That's Walmart. No, at Walmart the pants come off. Try to keep up. Jeez, I got people fact checking, and then I got wrong facts, and then I got tags and punchlines. It's like. Gordon's little workshop room here. It's, it's all right. Are the women in charge of the relationships here? Where are we? Proof to Gorda? Are the women in charge? Ladies? In charge of the relationship? Good. Then I'm not alone. My girlfriend, definitely in charge of our relationship. It shows up in weird ways. The other night we're at a dinner party. This friend of hers walks up, looks at me, and looks at her and goes, So, this is your boyfriend? My girlfriend goes, yeah, he's a rescue. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's my time, folks. <laughs>